Good day everyone, welcome again to another episode of TAFS Training. Today I will discuss to you what are the friends benefits. No, Kasi in our previous na mga videos, meron na tayong discussions doon and the computations of friends benefits. No, So in this video, I will uh, show to you what are the friends benefits na subject to friends benefits tax. No? Friends benefits, ano ba itong friends benefits? Means any goods service or other benefit furnished or granted in cash or in kind other than the basic compensation by an employer to an individual employee except trunk and file employees such as but li not limited to the following so ang binigyan dito ng friends benefits na to are supervisory and managerial position pagka ang binigyan dito rank and file employee hindi po siya magiging subject to uh, friends benefits tax kung hindi isama mo siya doon sa compensation ng rank and file employee and then doon ka magbawas ng withholding tax on compensation. Huh? So, ano-ano po itong mga friends benefits? Ano yung mga examples ng friends benefits? Ito yung housing. No? Halimbawa, empleyado mo, binigyan mo na free housing. So, kukompute din ngayon yan ang BAR. How much is the housing allowance? No? Or binayad mo doon sa housing and then that would be subjected to the friends benefits tax of 35% based on the gross up monetary value. And then, meron tayong tinatawag na expense account. Ano itong mga expense account? Ito yung mga expenses natin. Nalibawa, uh, na, pinagrocery mo yung empleyado mo ng libre. No? So, expense account yan. Vehicle of any kind. Nagbigay ka ng service. No? Na libre sa sakyan. No? So, vehicle of any kind. That is also taxable. Household personnel such as maid, driver, and others. Ano to? Uh, household personnel. So, merong maid, merong driver, ano pa? Yung mga personal assistant, no? So, lalo ng mga artista, may, hindi yan po pwede na walang personal assistant. No? May mga nag, nag ma, uh, may makeup, nag, dadala ng mga costume nila. No? So, kasama po yan, no? Household personnel. Interest on loan at less than market rate to the extent of the difference between the market rate and actual rate granted. So, Pag ang employer nagpautang sa employee, and then halimbawa ang interest is only 5%, no? And how much is the legal rate of interest now? That is 12%. So what is, how much is the difference? 12% na legal rate at saka yung rate na pinautang ng employer, only 5%. So the difference is 7%. Yung 7% po na yan, subject yan sa friends benefits tax, no? Um, membership fees. Ano to mga membership fees? Juice. Other expenses borne by the employer for the employee in social and athletic clubs or other similar organizations. Membership fees. Pagkalimbawa, si pay ka, membership mo sa PICPA is 1,000 per year. No? Sinoshoulder yan ang employer. No? So, consider din po siya na friends benefits. Yung mga bayad mo sa mga clubs, no? Halimbawa, sa mga golf clubs, uh, uh, kasama din po siya na friends benefits. No, another is the oh, uh, expenses for foreign travel. No, pero ano sabi dito? Pagka in connection with the business, hindi po, po siya pwede yung subject sa friends benefits tax. Pero kung talagang pina travel mo lang, talaga yung empleyado mo, uh, may ano yan, friends benefits tax. No, another is holiday and vacation expenses. No, yung mga um, uh, expenses na bakasyon that is subject to friends benefits tax. How much is our friends benefits tax? 35% of the gross up monetary value. At sino po yung magbabayad? The employer. No? Next is the education assistance of the employee or his dependents. No, halimbawa, pinaaral mo yung empleyado mo. Yung educational assistance mo doon, subject din po yan sa friends benefits tax. Or, pinaaral mo yung anak. no? Or his dependents. So, yung uh, gastos mo doon sa pagpapaaral ng anak ng empleyado mo is also subject to friends benefits tax. No? Uh, another is life or health insurance and other non-life insurance premium of similar amounts in excess of what the law allow. So, halimbawa, kinuhanan mo ng uh, life or health insurance yung mga empleyado mo. No? So, mag mas magiging subject din po siya sa friends benefits tax kasi unang-una personal na po yun ang empleyado mo. So, with that, I would like to say thank you. No, I discussed to you what are the friends benefits. No, so, I would like to say thank you and have a good day.